Welcome to Vivid Cortex. In this short video, we'll be looking at a demonstration of how Vivid Cortex database monitoring works. We'll drill down several times, look at the profiler, and use our query page to examine specific queries amongst millions. We begin here in the summary screen of our demo environment, where you can see our current 24 hour time filter, our host selection, and the two main things we're currently viewing top queries of interest and the overall health of our environment, our application overview. In this case, with just a glance, we can see that disk throughput is very high, and we see what appear to be correlation spikes in errors and latency. This is a great opportunity for us to zoom in and see more detail. Now that we've zoomed in, you can see that our time range has changed to match the time frame of that spike we decided to examine, about seven hours instead of 24. Let's try to understand that spike we saw in throughput by taking a closer look at these queries. Here we are in the profiler. The profiler is the primary way Vivid Cortex helps users understand the performance of their queries and find smoking gun evidence of issues. In our current view, we're looking at the environment's top 10 queries ranked by total time. Interestingly, you'll see that our top three queries in this time period, all above 20% of the system's load, are actually all fairly fast. But of course, they run frequently, executing many millions of times. We can also ask directly, what are the slowest queries in the system? Ranking by average latency, we see the select statement right at the top, with a pattern very reminiscent of that spike we saw earlier in disk throughput. This query is very slow on average, approaching a full second. Let's drill down deeper. Now we're in the query page. In this query set, we can see their performance over time. This query occurs across 30 different hosts in this environment, all visible here in the same place. Let's rank the hosts by where the query occurs most frequently, then drill into a single individual node, in this case, the one that is the most heavily loaded. Within this node, we see that when there's a higher volume of queries, more total time has been spent. That makes sense. However, we're also seeing that here, where the volume drops, the average time it takes for us to execute rises. That's unusual. Let's drill into that time period where the average latency rises. The gray dots on these pages give us an opportunity to look at specific queries within the overall query set. Let's choose an outlier, one of the slowest. Vivid Cortex gives us sample info and explain plans that are immediately valuable. This query ran very slowly and examined a high number of rows. When we compare this to a faster query, we see far fewer rows were examined and the query took a fraction of the time, well within our average. This makes sense. The query text tells us that this query was pulling much less information. Let's review what we've done. We began in the summary page, where we noticed unusual activity within a 24-hour window. We then drilled down into our profiler in a 7-hour window to understand our query behavior. And now, in examining that query set, we're inspecting a single query and understanding its behavior amongst millions and millions other queries. This is just scratching the surface of Vivid Cortex, but demonstrates just how quickly and easily it can help you optimize your database. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit www.vividcortex.com and get started today.